Smintronics fans. I have had this request for a long time now. I am finally gonna show you how to weight and tape your flags. Let's start with the weights. Um, I'm gonna put a three inch carriage bolt on the top and a one and a half inch carriage bolt on the bottom of this pole. Now, I'm just weighting these as practice poles, but depending on your type of flag, the type of fabric it's made of, how many seams it has, you're gonna wanna change the weights up a little bit. This is why I really don't like those weights that you just jam into the end of the pole and then they stay there forever because you can never change them. Then when you spin a different flag, it's gonna be weighted differently, it's gonna feel weird. Your kids are gonna have all sorts of issues with it. Now, the number one thing that everybody wants to know about weighting their pole with these carriage bolts is how do I make it not make any noise? That's one of the reasons that jam weights were invented where you just jam them in. You can't change those out though. These you can change out. So the first thing I'm gonna tell you is absolutely do not wrap tape around these ridges on your bolt because what's gonna happen is the tape actually changes the weight of the bolt. It seems like it's very little, but your students are gonna be able to tell a big difference. And that's where you get those fights of, this is my flag, this is my flag. They really have a difference in the weight whenever you have tape wrapped around these things, especially when you get big wads of it. And then when that wad of tape hits up against the side of the pole, it's still gonna make noise. It doesn't muffle it. So what we do is you take the bolt, slide it in the end like so, and then you're gonna take tape and you're gonna tape an X over the top of it. You always wanna cut your tape if you can. Even though it's breakable, when you stretch it, it actually weakens the tape a little bit. So if you have scissors and you can, that's fine. If you don't or you're in a hurry, that's fine too. Go ahead and break your tape. Okay, so I've got this first piece going one direction. Here's my second piece, making an X over the top. Now, you make that really tight. You're not gonna have that sound. Next, take your tip. Now, you wanna use a rubber tip. Those plastic tips are horrible. They don't fit over the bolt properly. You can't get them off easily. I have to cut them off all the time. Even when I don't have a bolt inside, I have to cut them off. So, get a rubber tip. These also don't damage the floor if you drop a flag. Some rubber tips come with a little washer inside. This one you can kind of see has it. The washer is just to keep the flagpole from breaking out this direction and cutting a hole in the top of your tip. Now, the problem with them is they tend to make the tips break this direction. I really don't think they make a whole lot of difference. We break a lot of tips anyway, even if I've got them or not. And there you have your weight and your tip and no sound whatsoever. And you can say, oh, well, I did that and I still have sound. Well, how long ago did you tape them? We generally have to tape them back every single winter guard season because that tape, as great as it is right now, it does break. As you're using them, the tape is gonna eventually get worn out. It's gonna break. You're gonna end up with that chiming sound again. But here's the bottom tip. And I haven't retaped this one. I retaped this one at the beginning of the season and it's currently the end of the season, it's spring. It barely makes a noise now. You might notice that I just slapped a black tip onto a silver pole and some of you may have cringed. I don't care what color tips I put on my poles. I have black ones, I have white ones. It depends on where they come from. Some people donate them to us. It's crazy. So what I do is I tape all of my tips. That way they are all the same color. Plus, if my bolt is not fastened in the way I want it, then the tip won't come flying off with the bolt while you're spinning if it's taped down.